Hello Gecko Fiends and hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you about how to put together a tank for a leopard gecko or several leopard geckos. Um, this is my Exoterra tank as you can see. I have tiled it out with some adhesive tiles from B&Q. Um, I left these in for about two days before I put the geckos in. The geckos are in this tank here at the moment. You can see them. Maybe not. One there anyway. And the heat mat is just here, which is where we're going to be putting our main hide, which I have behind me. Um, I've got a heat mat and I've got a little thermostat over there. And I've got a little notch cut into the cut into the uh, hide so I'm, I know where it's going to go. And it's going to go there is my, my particular heat mat. And we're also going to put a wet hide in, which is another Exoterra wet hide. Um, and that's going to go just there for them. So that's the hide that they're going to use to be laying their eggs as well. Okay. On the other side, I've got another wet hide for them. That's going to go the other side of the tank, just there. And my geckos are pooing in this corner as well at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a piece of kitchen roll down just uh, over there. And I've got a hide that will go over the top of that, which will which hides the poo. And they, they go, that's where they poo. They always poo in that hide. So I'm going to keep it there. I'm not going to change it up for them. Okay. So the next thing we've got, we've got another Exoterra rock hide, and I'm sorry, I keep using Exoterra products, although that's not an Exoterra product, I think that's Lucky Reptile, but I keep using Exoterra products, and I just like the way they look, they look really natural and really good. And the battery is flashing on my camera, so if this cuts off, I'm very sorry, and I'll do another one. A bit of a plant in there for them. Just make it aesthetically pleasing for me really as opposed to geckos. And I'm gonna put this in if I can. Because they've not not had that for a while. That's my log. And they can climb up that and climb around that if they so want to. And the battery life on this camera is cack at the moment. So I apologise if it does go off, I really do. The next thing I'm going to put down is some cork bark. And again, that gives them a different uh, bit of a level to climb on. Oops. And mine goes on there like that. Just creates another little hide for them in there if they want to get around the back of anything. I did have that going across there, didn't I? But I might just see if I can wedge that in there as a shelf. That did go across there before I put the log in, but now that I've put the log in, I feel to wedge that in. Maybe I'll wedge it in. That's not too bad, they can sit on that now. That's an extra layer. Um, I'm pass. Hmm, typical. Uh, plants are going to go in somewhere else, aren't they? Um, probably not there. <laughs> um, I'll put this in a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just conscious that the battery is going to uh, run out any second now. Um, so when I've done it, I'll show you. And we're done. That's the, the tank. We're going to put the geckos in now. Just give me two seconds. And we'll get them. Come on. That's two there. And we have a 
Angelica. And then Bernard. Who was your now is the face of Bernard Productions? Oops. Thanks for watching. Well, that's the uh, that's the poo hide I was talking about. And there you go.